And on today's Unbiased Short Take, we're going to talk about Monday Night Football last night with the New York Jets defeating the Buffalo Bills with a score of 22-16. to The Jets winning on a punt return touchdown to end the game there. I'm not laughing because of what happened to Aaron Rodgers. I love Aaron Rodgers. He's the best Packer quarterback of all time. I've thanked him on this podcast before for what he's done for Green Bay. He's won us a Super Bowl Top five in passing yards, top five in passing touchdowns. The dude has the best touchdown interception ratio of all time and second best QBR of all time. The dude literally is top five in every category there is to man and is a Super Bowl champion. There's nothing left to prove, but the Jets season's over. This is the most Jets thing ever to have all that hype talk all about the Jets all off season long, all that coverage, all for Aaron Rodgers to throw one pass and to get sacked and to get injured and have a season-ending Achilles injury that will be confirmed today with an MRI. That's why I'm laughing, because the Jets, again, are going to be a bottom feeder. They have a great supporting cast. They have Brees Hall, 127 yards last night. They have Dalvin Cook at running back as well. They have Alan Lazard, who led the team in receiving last night. They have Randall Cobb, Garrett Wilson with a touchdown last night, and made some amazing catches, especially in that fourth quarter, with that amazing catch he made there. Um, They have a great defense, top five defense in the league. And now they have Zach Wilson to go out there in all these primetime games and to blow it in front of the whole country. He's going to squander this opportunity, and the Jets are going to miss the playoffs. But not only that, they have a good enough supporting cast around Zach Wilson to win probably, I would say, six, seven, eight games, but not good enough to make the playoffs. So they're they're going to be good enough to not get a top-10 draft choice because, unfortunately, now for the Packers, we don't get a first-round draft choice if Rodgers is out for the season because he didn't play that minimum snaps percentage that we talked about in the offseason so we're going to get a second round pick for Aaron Rodgers but with how Jordan Love played looks like we traded Rodgers at the right time unfortunately the Jets season's over they're going to be like the Broncos last year and suck in all these primetime games and we'll have to watch Zach Wilson and all those primetime games like we had to watch the Broncos terrible offense last year and all those primetime games thank you for doing that to the NFL fan base again NFL and Roger Goodell but with that being said the Bills, let's talk about them for a minute. Wow. Three interceptions from Josh Allen, four total turnovers. Got outperformed by Zach Wilson, 81.4 QBR for Zach Wilson, 62.7 QBR for Josh Allen. Never thought I would say that Zach Wilson outperformed Josh Allen, but that was the case last night. Josh Allen needs to be disciplined. And when I say that, he needs to be – just stop doing this sidearm crap. Stop throwing double coverage. You're not Brett Favre. Stop pretending to be. You're Josh Allen. You are an elite quarterback. But right now, you continue to do that crap. You're going to get benched by the time it's over. Now, I am not want to say that. He just needs to get it under control. The Bills, they're going to be just fine. I'm not going to sell on the Bills because of one bad week. That would be an overreaction. He's going to be just fine. It's, it is against an elite Jets defense. So there is something to be said for that. I do think there is some kind of maybe a little cause for worry, maybe sweat a little bit. Come on. We can't be playing like this. This happened last year. They won the division and they missed the playoff. And they and they lost in the playoffs. So they need to be they need to pick it up. He needs he needs to pick it up. Um again, that's all we'll have for today's on by short take. Like, subscribe, hit the bell, like us on Facebook, and check out the sports fact of the day. And me and JB will be on the predict week two. And we'll see you on that podcast. Go Pat Go.